right now living in shock. We have 31 miles exactly from Williams Arena. So that uh, it's kind of a drive. Ah! I try to get there a couple hours ahead normally, if I can. Indiana's always been a very tough team. I do expect to win tonight. I really think we will. Gophers are hoping to extend their winning streak to four straight victories and would do so with a win tonight. They're positioned to be an NCAA tournament team if they take care of business the rest of the way. I'll walk the lobby and just shake hands with people that come in because I know so many of them. Good to see you. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Hello. It's so good to see you. It's good so to see you, too. Thank you. Thank I don't know you. what I'm going to do next year. Your voice is go for basketball. Yeah, I've said that, too. For the last game of the season, I'm sitting right behind you just for your last game. Are you really? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really nice of you. During the games, I'm right at midcourt. Beautiful, beautiful spot. Mason gets a high screen. He turns back to the right side, gets into the paint. Good look to Lynch. Lynch with a dunk. Reggie Lynch. 74-73. Gophers down one. Long three for the lead. No good. Rebound tip. Two springs. Put back. Yes! Yes! Basket it. That basket is good by Springs. Springs scores. Basket by Springs. Inbounder will be Green, the freshman. He has it, nearly stepped out of bounds, gets the half court, launches up a shot for the win, no good, Gophers win. How about that? Gophers win, 75-74, holy cow. Holy cow, drive carefully, good night everybody. Ray Christensen, our radio announcer, who was there 50 years, they have a banner hanging from the rafters with Ray's picture on it. And I told them, I said, boy, that would be great if I'll get it. I would love to say that even though I'm retired, I'm still hanging around the arena. <laughs>